Toyota's ability to make new inventions and produce breathtaking automobiles has put it at the forefront of the automotive industry. It now stands as the leader of invention. While other companies were stuck in the past with combustion engines, Toyota had already moved into the future with electric cars. What is most inspiring is that Toyota did not stop at the invention of electric vehicles. Rather, it moved into something bigger and better. Water-powered engines. That's right, vehicles that are powered by water. I know it sounds crazy, but before you dismiss it as mere talk, watch this video to the end and let us unravel the mystery. In the quest to create substantial and sustainable eco-friendly transportation, those in the automotive industry are trying new methods and exploring innovative technologies. However, one of the many inventions stands out, the Toyota water engine. What is the water engine, and why should anyone be concerned? Welcome to Tech Innovation. If this is your first time watching our videos, you will be interested to know that we are here to give you the latest news on technology. Today we will tell you all you need to know about Toyota's new water engine and how it will shape the EV industry. Do well by liking this video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Also tap the notification bell so you will be the first to know when we drop exclusive content. If you are very familiar with the automotive industry, then it is no secret that Toyota is one of the biggest names in the industry. It may not be too much to even say that they are the whales of the game. Their innovations over the years have shown that they deserve all the praise they have been getting. And the water engine, which happens to be one of their latest innovations, should be a game changer in what already is a very competitive industry even for the big names. It is a project they have been working on for several years, which clearly indicates they intend to achieve with it perfection. What is a water engine? A water engine is a positive displacement engine often similar to a steam engine with parts resembling pistons and valves. It is driven by water pressure. The water supply is usually obtained from a natural head of water, water mains, or specialized high-pressure water supplies. In a water-powered engine, there is something called prime movers. These prime movers are driven by water and may be categorized into three. Number 1. Water Pressure Motors these motors have a piston and cylinder with inlet and outlet valves, with water as their working fluid. Their action corresponds to a steam or gas engine. Number 2. Water Wheels A water wheel is a machine used to convert the energy flowing or falling water produced into proper forms of power, often in a water mill. Water mills use hydropower using a water turbine to drive mechanical processes such as grinding, hammering, or rolling. Water wheels are made either from metal or wood with a couple of blades or a bucket arranged on the outside rim. When a flowing stream is dammed, it forms a mill pond. The water from this pond is then fed into water wheels. Number 3. The third category is turbines. They derive their energy from high-velocity jets or from water supplied under pressure. They are passed through what is called a runner. This runner causes them to rotate. Hydropower is the energy generated when natural force from water currents move devices like propellers, wheels, and fans. Enough of the jargon. Let's break it down. About Toyota's water engine. Hydrogen fuel cell technology. Toyota's breakthrough invention of hydrogen-driven cars contributes tremendously to the world of automobiles and is also economical. Through a process known as electrolysis, hydrogen is obtained from water, providing a renewable fuel source. How does it work? There's been a lot of concern about the state of the environment. This is due to the danger of fossil fuels and combustion engines to the environment. However, Toyota's new invention, the water engine, minimizes this concern as the water engine contributes to reducing the greenhouse effect. Now, a step-by-step -step process of how it works. When we talk of a water engine, you may be led to think that it runs solely on water, but that is not entirely the case. There is a complex process involved in generating energy for the engine's propulsion. Number 1. By electrolysis, electricity is passed through water to separate it into its components, hydrogen and oxygen. Number 2. The hydrogen separated from oxygen is put into a fuel cell within the vehicle. In this fuel cell, hydrogen reacts with oxygen from the air and the resulting byproduct is electricity. Number 3. 
After this is done, the electricity generated is utilized to power an electric motor, which drives the vehicle's wheels. This new propulsion by electricity generated from the electrolysis of water renders combustion engines needless for various reasons. No fossil fuels combustion, no CO2 emission. The water engine comes with a lot of benefits to it. Let us look at the advantages, for example. Benefit number one, water is a resource that is abundant in nature. The hydrogen derived from the electrolysis of water is readily available and sustainable. Fossil fuels, on the other hand, are finite and even hazardous to our well-being. Benefit number two, a notable upside to Toyota's water engine invention is that it emits zero emissions compared to combustion engines. The only byproduct of the hydrogen fuel cell process is water vapor, which makes it eco-friendly. Benefit number three, in water engines, the electricity generated is effectively utilized for engine propulsion, resulting in an engine that is more efficient than a traditional combustion engine. The water engine invention is outstanding. Nevertheless, there is a side to it that could be a potential problem. But thanks to the great thinking of Toyota's engineers, a way to tackle what could be a disaster has been made. What are we talking about? Hydrogen burns at a very high and substantial temperature. It reaches its apex at 2500 Celsius, and this is a pretty high temperature which could do damage to the various parts of the engine, affecting power output, engine durability, and emissions. Toyota has made a patent-pending water-cooled hydrogen engine to ensure this doesn't go wrong. This engine faces the challenge squarely and overcomes it by injecting water into the combustion engine, thereby controlling the heat. The system is positioned strategically at the main points of action with valves that regulate the timing and amount of water that enters it. This goes a long way in preventing overheating and engine wrecking. With regard to global sales, Toyota was a leading manufacturer in the industry in 2022, with a total of 125,332 sales. Being the first to offer a hybrid car in its lineup, the company has made great advancements in the electric vehicle market, and they are not relenting anytime soon. The automotive industry seems to be on a journey of crazy innovations daily. Toyota is undoubtedly further ahead of other industries in coming up with groundbreaking and unbeatable technological ideas. Customers are curious to know what Toyota will come up with next. They always have something up their sleeves and we look for what comes next. Toyota has big plans for the future of its water engine. The company is working on ways to make the engine even more efficient, and it's also working on ways to make the infrastructure for hydrogen fuel more widespread. Toyota's goal is to make the hydrogen engine a viable alternative to gasoline engines, and eventually phase out gasoline engines altogether. In the future, Toyota hopes to have a whole fleet of hydrogen-powered vehicles, from passenger cars to trucks and buses. The company believes that hydrogen is the fuel of the future. It is not just them. Seeing the potential of the water engine, we are all tempted to see the future of the automotive industry in it. What do you think about Toyota's new water engine, which poses a threat to other companies in the industry? Let us know in the comments section. Until we come your way again, we hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, share, and hit the subscribe button. Also, tap the notification bell to be the first to know when we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching!